Hello, this is Gibby. Today we have still our boring background and going gear EDC club. Yay! So, um, <clears throat> no joke openings. I already opened it. Um, so let's get into it. <clears throat> bum, bum, bum. Empty bag. Go that way. All right, so we have things. I'll just set them up. Why not? Why not? So, <clears throat> smallest thing we have. These cute little keychain, um, what do you call them? Screwdrivers? Screwdrivers. What do they call them? Screw keyring set for $9 from Countycom. They're hardened black and steel. We got a standard Phillips and a standard flat. So that'd be pretty useful. Nice to keep on your keys. They got a weird powdery coating, but whatever. They look like they'd be really good. Nine bucks? Sure, why not? I'm for that action. Nine bucks. Let's go with that. Sounds cool. Then we have this piece of crap. Um, I'm sorry. I'm not excited about this thing at all. I was glad that I missed it in Battle Box, and now I got it in an EDC club, and I'm not excited about that. <coughs> what is this thing called, even? Tactica Gear M20 Camping Multi Tool. Ooh, fancy. It's got like 17 uh, things that it can do, it says. I think it's a piece of trash. We have a scraper thing. Got a cord cutter. You're supposed to have a little saw thing there. A rope tensioner or something. It's also supposed to be a, a tent stake puller. You got a rule, two rules, <clears throat> and then uh, of course you got a ferrule rod that you can strike somewhere on here. But still, it's tiny. I don't. And then if you get a tiny stick, you can stick it in there and use it as a sundial, which is kind of fun. But uh, this doesn't fit. This fits there for some reason. I wonder why that is. Whee! Oh well. Anyway, this they have as 35 bucks, and I think it's a piece of trash. So, I don't know. Not excited about this. Definitely not excited about this. Let's see what all they say it does. Sundial, like we said, bottle opener, ooh. Ferro rod striker on the serrated side. Rope cutter on that edge that needs to be sharpened. See that? How nice. Metric ruler. They're calling that a screwdriver right there. Okay. Okay. Can opener. Um, <clears throat> I think... Was it... Uh, exploring it all? Tried that out as a can opener? And <laughs> it's just better to use a, a Leatherman or, or uh, one of the P38s or... or you know something else because it's not it doesn't work very well from what I saw rope tensioner okay inch ruler sounds good yeah 10 peg puller okay I think if you get a uh, is it the huntsman the the Victorian Ox huntsman or something they have one of those I spend your money on that not $35 on this piece of trash Pry bar, ooh, fancy. And ferro rod. Ooh, ferro rod handle counts as an additional tool. How kind of them to give us a handle. Anyway, I'm going to put this aside before I get angry. Next thing, which I'm kind of excited about because I don't have anything by Kaiser, is the Kaiser Assassin. Hello, sir. What are you doing? 
Got a fun booklet thing here. <clears throat> it comes with a, a fancy microfiber towel action. Cool, cool, cool. Ooh, pretty pictures. Thank you for choosing Kaiser. I didn't choose Kaiser. Going Gear did for me. Does this say anything about the? Nope. Oh, okay. But anyway, let's, just, let's open this up. Ooh. It says we could have gotten uh, green, which they're calling this, or red micarta handles. <coughs> um, what does it say? Designed by Carlos uh, Elsner. The Assassin is an excellent EDC folding pocket knife with a flipper tab and button lock. If you haven't had a button lock before, you're in for a treat with an unbelievably smooth action. Ambidextrous deep uh, pocket carry clip, my car to handles, and 154cm steel. Okay. Alright. It makes a fun, well, I say fun, um, it actually annoys me pretty good, but like when the when the spring clicks into place is kind of annoying on the flip it sounds like uh, I don't know I don't like it but you can push the button and just whip whip it out this is real bouncy on the on the clothes I don't know might take some some practice or something um Jumping feels pretty good, and it's it's pretty out there, so that's nice. You have some, I guess, jumping on the back. So this feels pretty natural. This grip for a slicing grip, that's pretty nice. I don't want to cut this because that is leather. Um, ooh, fancy Kaiser emblem there. I do like the finish though. I think that's pretty cute. What we got over here? Assassin. Sounds nice. <clears throat> the back looks pretty alright in this back spacer. Pocket clip looks alright. And it comes with additional screws. Fancy, fancy. If you want to swap that over, or just if you lose them. And it looks like we got. Um, some short boys and some long boys. So I'm guessing the shorties are just as stoppers and the long boys are for are for doing it to it. Or to replace that one? Who knows? Oh, that was off camera. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, I think it's a pretty attractive knife. I just don't like uh, that tink noise when it comes out. Cute little false edge. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. They have this marked as 69 bucks, which is $10 more than the box goes for. So we got the Kaiser Assassin for 69 The County Com, uh, what do you call them? The screwdriver set and the tiny key screwdrivers for 9 bucks. What are we at? 78 And then the Tactica Gear POS um, for 35 So... You know, 78 and some trash. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the knife again um, this month. I was happy with the knife last month. Happy with the knife this month. Um, and, and the throw-in item, this cute little freebie action, is actually pretty useful. It's the mid-tier item that they throw in that keeps having problems with me. So, I don't know. I was looking at the uh, uncommon EDC. He got he gets the the premium. That was two hundred bucks. I I I can't I can't throw out that extra one forty. Um, and he got like the cutest little cleaver knife. It's so cute, and I think it was limited to like three thousand or something. But it's just the Dickens. Um, and then <clears throat> I think they were selling that for. 80 or something and 
Then there was a Bluetooth speaker with way too much packaging. I mean, the packaging looked cool, but... Anyway, if you want to check out the speaker and that other cute knife, please go see Uncommon EDC. Um, his video on it. It's excellent. And he actually got his on time <laughs> this month, and it didn't get lost in the mail. <laughs> All right. Cool. This is a winner. This is a winner. I can't even find it because I threw it away. This is uh, not so much a winner. We'll, we'll see if I can put this to use somehow. Maybe on like a bear bag or something. I might find a home on a bear bag kit. Who knows? Anyway, hope you guys have a good day. And uh, I'll check you later. All right, bye.